I hate first class. I hate opening classes. I, I just want to get it over with because um, the students that know me come here thinking maybe it's going to be different this year. And then like 30 seconds in, they're like, ah, same old shit. Uh, and the new students like listen to this and they're like, is he for real? <laughs> so we just have to get over this and then we'll be fine. So anyway, um, April, what was it? Uh, April 9th, 2017, uh, a United Airlines flight was about to take off from Chicago when United discovered that the plane was overbooked, right? So we're in Chicago, which is over here, right? And there's a domestic flight going from Chicago to, I don't know where it was going, what the destination was. I think it was St. Louis over here. It was a short flight. And the airline that was operating this flight was United Airlines, which is one of the biggest airlines in the United States. Uh, there's a number of airlines. There's Delta. There's, <laughs> I don't know anything else. Uh, American Airlines. I don't know. There's like 10 big airlines in the United States. Uh, Pan American used to be a big airline, but that went out of business like 20 years ago. Uh, so United Airlines was operating this flight. It's April 9th, 2017, like six months ago. And this plane was about to take off when United discovered that the plane was overbooked, meaning there were too many passengers and not enough seats, right? So all the seats were occupied and one uh, unlucky bastard <laughs> was standing in the aisle like looking, looking around saying, where's my seat? And so apparently this happens all the time. Like airlines overbook their flights all the time because airlines have a very slim profit margin. They don't make a lot of money on each flight. So they have to make sure that every flight is full, right? <laughs> and what happens is that typically about 10 to 15% of passengers don't make a flight. They don't show up because they get delayed or they miss the flight or they die. I don't know. Uh, and airlines can't afford to have those seats empty, right? They have to fill them up. So they overbook their flights and then they just sit and pray, you know, that no, not everybody shows up. And in this case, everybody showed up. And United Airlines was like, shit, you know, what are we going to do now? So what they do usually is really interesting. They make an announcement where they talk to the passengers and they say, whoever gets off this flight and waits for the next one, We'll get a lot of freebies, right? We'll give you gifts. We'll give you travel vouchers. We'll give you free hotel accommodations. So they did that. And it usually works, right? Usually it works. Usually someone stands. I was like, okay, I can wait four more hours and just give me, give me, give me, you know? And in this case, nobody was willing to get off the plane. You know, everybody just sat there like, nope, <laughs> you're not getting me off the plane. So, uh, so United didn't really know what to do. Uh, you know, this is a good plan. Like overbooking flights is a good plan, but this time it just blew up in their face. And so, uh, so they did this. They made the announcement and the offers were tempting, right? They were very tempting, like free hotel accommodations for a month, travel vouchers, free frequent flyer miles, whatever those are, you know, and, but, you know, nobody said yes. So United ended up, uh, hiring airport security officers <laughs> and telling them just get somebody off the flight and these guys they have uniforms they're tough guys you know they love nothing more than getting people off plane, right so they were like can we use force can we use force and the united was like sure just do whatever it takes you know just kill somebody if necessary and so uh these guys they boarded the flight and they just uh they picked this one guy uh, Dr. David Dow. Now his name is um, David Dow, which is a name that sounds. He's a he's a doctor who lives in Kentucky. Uh, he's Chinese. He looks Chinese. He's not Chinese. He's an American citizen, but uh, his family is originally from China. So they came up to him and they said, "Would you get off the plane, please?" Uh, okay, here's a transcript of what they. I have a transcript of what they actually said, and I don't know where that is. Okay, just give me a second. There is a trans... Okay, here it is. Just listen to me carefully. Uh, they use very nice English. Um, so, they said, I was wondering if you could follow me, sir. Would you mind getting your bag? I'd appreciate it if you kept quiet. There's really no need to make a fuss. Or would you rather we get you off the plane by force? You might want to hold on to the headrests. Just do me a favor and stay quiet, all right? Now, this is beautiful English, and it's really easy to understand. Did you hear it? There's nothing like complicated about it, but we can't use it. We don't know how to use this English. 
because all we know how to say is can you, can you, can you, can you, and can I, can I, can I, could I, right? But this is like beautiful English that we're going to learn later on, right? So this is what they said to Dr. Dow, and Dr. Dow said no. Já vám vidím na očích, že byste strašně chtěli test nějaký. Takže dáme si test, který je monolog doktora Dá, jak je tažen uličkou v letadle. A co se mu tak jako honí hlavou. Takže ve dvojici si řekněte, bude se střídat po větě, bude to mít, já nevím, 8 vět. Teď se střídáte po větě, překládá vždycky jeden z vás. Bude to hrozně rychle, nemáte na to čas, jste place, placení, tlumočníci, prostě okamžitě překládáte. Takže řekněte si, kdo z vás začíná a po větě se střídáte. Můžem? 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 Jste připraveni? Dvojicích? Takže. Pomoc, táhnou mě uličkou v letadle. No je toto možné? Proč zrovna mě? Lítám s nimi už roky. A takhle se mě odvětší. Jsem zděšen, pobouřen a znechucen. <laughs> Nemá to něco společného s tím, kdo jsem? Nepřejte si mě, jestli ano. Jinak bude zle. Potom, měli jsme zakázáno použít násilí. Měli jsme zakázáno. To je strašně formální. Jednodušší. Mít zakázáno. Be allowed to. Rozhodně. Mhm. I mít povoleno, i mít zakázáno. Akorát, že v tom mít zakázáno, tam dáte ten zápor. Takže měli jsme zakázáno použít násilí. Bude we weren't allowed to use force. Jo, mě, tohle určitě, mě tohle určitě spojené. Jako mít zakázané, prostě not be allowed to. Leda by to bylo naprosto nutné. Leda by. Unless. To je ono, unless je výborné slovičko. Potom, zařiďte to. Prostě to zařiďte. Jenom samotné zařiďte. Ne. Jakože arrange není úplně špatné sloveso, ale to je spíš zařiď, aby získal nějakou lepší pozici. A i tam by bylo lepší make sure. Třeba v tomhle případě. Samotné, zařiď to. Make it happen. Výborné spojení. Just make it happen. Tečka. No to je zařiď to. Alternativa je get it done. Just get it done. Just make it happen. Prostě to zařiď. I to nějak by tam bylo v češtině. Jo, nějak to zařiď. Just make it happen. Just get it done. A kdyby se to měli s tím, ať nebo aby, zařiť, aby to všichni zist, zařiť, aby to všichni věděli, tak tam byste řekli, zařiť, aby. Mm, to zařiť. Make sure. To je ono. Jo, to jsme měli před chvilkou. Jo, zařiť, aby, zařiť, ať je make sure. A samotné, zařiť to, je prostě make it happen. Nebo get it done. Tak a poslední obrat. Všecko, co se stane, musí zůstat u tutláno. Všecko, co se stane. Everything 
Všechno, co se stane, everything, to o tam nesmí být. Bacha, to je jenom češtině. Word není nikdy vztažné za jméno. Jo, takže v tomhle případě that. Everything that happens. Jo, hlavně tam nesmí být to word, na to bacha. Kdybyste řekli všechno, co jsem udělal, I did, výborně. Tam je to nejlepší úplně vynechat. Jo, everything I did. Ale když tam něco musí být, tak rozhodně that. Jo, everything that happened, everything I did. A tak dál. All right.